people who aren't show up. Okay. But you may have to, your voice is good, you know, when you get old, my, you can you hear well. well. Me, a little bit here, me well now? Yeah. Huh? Oh, you speak louder? Or? Oh, no, you're perfect. That's okay. Talk like that, it's perfect. Good, terrific. Yeah. Okay, um, what we're doing is we're, we're interviewing people of different ages about their lives and about what's going on in their lives. And Bob suggested you, and I thought that was his perfect. Perfect, perfect suggestion. a good grandson alone. I love is it? it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Could you first um, just say for the camera your name and your age? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what have I got that? George Quinton. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And by my age. Your age. Born 1907. 1907, wow. On the 5th day of August. Where were you born, George? Down in Canada. In Canada? And uh, you want to call the other Bodmin? Wait, what part of Canada are you from? Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Newfoundland, yeah. yeah. And when did you come to the States? When I came here, 1926, on the 12th day of April. So 1926. So you were still a young man when you came? Oh yeah, I was. Uh, I think I, I was eighteen. I would be nineteen in August, something right. like that. I don't know that figure off at all. Did you come to Boston? Yeah, right, right to Boston. Came to Charleston on the boat. Uh huh. On a boat, came right from St. John, Newfoundland, right to Charleston, town, Boston, right on a boat. And why did you leave Newfoundland? Was that? Why did you leave Canada? Well, I'll tell you that. My father came up here in nineteen twenty-two. Uh huh. And uh, <clears throat> he was there for about three or four, three years before my father came here. My father, we are, there was fourteen of us in the family, mm -hmm. and uh, there's only two left. Really? Yeah. And they they didn't die with well, die with old age. I guess not that uh, because you know my uh, my father he died in nineteen. Uh, Twenty-three. Anyhow, beside the point. So I came in nineteen twenty-six. I got that. You got that down. And he came here mostly because your father came before you. Well, he was up there for a couple of years, and then he came back. Uh huh. You know, and he said to I, I'm a twin. You know, I think. Yeah, I'm a twin. And he said to us. He says, my name is George. Twin brother? Yeah, my name, uh, my brother, twin brother, name is Sidney. Uh -huh. So he said, Sid and George, he said, you know, he says, there's a great country up there. Uh -huh. You know, just your young life. He says, beautiful. Right. So I left in 1926. And you and Sidney came at the same time? No, my brother came in 1927. I see. So my father, in between that, he came up here in 1920, between 26 and 27, he came back here again. Right. And then we had a big farm down in Canada. Uh-huh. So my mother and my two sisters. So my father came up here, and he went on construction work. Mm -hmm. So my, my mother came up here in 1928. Uh-huh. And right. my two sisters. Right. They were, one was about 10, and the other one was about of 14 or something like that. Right. Is Sydney still living? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, sure. Those are the two left. Out of the 14, there's two left. Out of the 14, there's two left. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. I, I'm going to ask you some questions, George, okay? And I, and I want you to sort of think about them and answer them. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions, George, okay? And I, and I want you to sort of think about them in terms of yourself. Yeah, sure. Okay. What, what are the things that you think about most in your life now? What kinds of things do you think most well, about? I think a lot about, you know, I was born in the country. You know, I'm talking about myself now. Right. I was born, and when you get, you wasn't forced to go to school. Right. I only went to the fourth, down in uh, where I was born, they didn't have no grades. They used to go from first, second, third, like that. Mm -hmm. So I went to the fourth. Right. And so, then you didn't have to go to school. I went out and I went to work when I was about 14. Mm -hmm. And uh, went away on the Labrador. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was down there till, uh, 19, uh, 1924, I spent one year down in the Labrador, 25, a year down there. Mm -hmm. It was in the winter time. Mm -hmm. It was really cold down there. Right. Wow. Yeah. So I went in the Lumberwoods. Mm -hmm. So in the spring of 1926, I made enough of money down there. I, I, I think I brought, I was down there for about three or four months. I brought home about $150. So I, right. I had enough money when I came back in Canada. So I came up there in 1926. Right. Yeah. So you think a lot about the past, 
you think a lot of bad things that have gone on in the past? I, well, I do think about it as a young, young boy growing up a kid. I uh -huh. never went back there. Uh -huh. and I said, you back. never went back? No, but my brother, twin brother, he was back there three years ago, and he said it was all, you know, different down there, you know. Right. And so I, I think about the past as a young boy. Sure, who wouldn't? I, I think anybody would. What are the sorts of things do you think about? The, what are the types of things do you think about? What well, are, I think about... Uh, if I was in a country that I, I could have got educated, you know, my education, mm -hmm. you know, I could have had a lot more education. I think about that as a young fellow. I missed a lot, a lot of good jobs by not right. having the education right. to fulfill the job that I know that I could be capable of doing. You know? Right. And so, uh, so I laid back. I didn't go, I didn't go forward. Mm -hmm. What kind of work did you do? Well, I worked on construction. Mm -hmm. I worked on uh, fishing, mm -hmm. fishermen. You were fishermen going Oh, out yes. Yeah. I was a Boston Fish Fair, uh -huh. 1929, 30. Right. And, uh, and I worked on the land, too. Uh, I went on shore for two or three years. Mm -hmm. I never, I always have little money in my pocket. The kids, well, my, my daughter, that's his mother. Right. Two kids. So I just got by good, by working hard. Right. Never, right. never, never went to welfare. Not, I just right. Went. I worked different jobs during my life, you know, of work. You know. But you have some regrets about about your education. You would yeah. like to maybe have more education. Oh, if I if I was born in this country, like right. this, uh, my grand, I would take advantage of things that I see when the, these kids were small. Uh, you think you would have gone to college? If you went, I certainly would. You would have. Yes, and not only that. Uh, my mother. Uh, I was living with my sister from before my mother came here. You know, mm -hmm. I had a sister. Right. So I was living with her, and I was making twelve dollars a week. Mm -hmm. So I would take up electricity. You know. Mm -hmm. So. I only had two dollars a week for myself. You know what I mean? Right. So my mother and father wasn't here at the time. Right. So I turned around and I, I couldn't do it because I couldn't pay my way. So you wanted to become an electrician? Well, electrician. No, definitely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you were sending money back to your parents? No, no. Oh, oh no. You're giving money money to your parents here? Yeah, but I was only getting about twelve dollars a I week. See. I was paying eight dollars a week for my bullet. Right. You know what I mean? Right. At that day, you know, nineteen twenty six, twenty seven. You know, you could live pretty cheap, but Right. Uh, you had to work, you know, I mean, to survive, you know. So, so do, you, do you think that, that Sidney has some regrets about his life also? Do you think that, that there are things that he would have liked to, to have done? Hey, he thinks like me, I think like him. Is that right? Oh, definitely. There's no more two twins in this world. I'm telling you. Huh. I think we both alike. Right. You know, as we were kids, we always were together. Uh huh. Do you live near one another? What's that? Does he live near you now? Oh, yeah. 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 So, uh, so you have some of the same thoughts about that. Oh, yeah. Sure. He, he thinks like me. We never argue with him. You know, we were doing things together. Whatever he suggested, I agree with go along. Whatever I suggest, go on. No difference of what, what no difference of opinion or nothing. Right. Just him and I, because we think alike. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, it is. That's, that's, but he, he has feelings also like you that, that he would have liked to have gone to school. Like well, I, I, I have that, but I think so. I I, I couldn't uh, vouch for it. You know, I never heard him say it. Right. You know what I mean? But I would have. If I was born, if my mother and father was there at the time and I was born, ah, you know, in this country, and I could uh, stay at home, right? I would have. You know, I would have. I would have went to college. Right. I, mean, I definitely would because I would have worked myself. So. That's right. Yeah. yeah. What are the, the most pleasant things in your life right now? What are the most positive things for you in your life? In my life right now? Right now. Well, what can I say? I'm going on 84. Mm -hmm. I'm born in 1907. Mm -hmm. Not 84. I have a, a wife that's his grandmother. A wonderful woman. But... Ten years, twelve years ago, she fell and broke her hip. Mm. You know what I mean? So I have a lot to do in the house. Right. I do everything in the house. But she mom, can't get up. And, uh, she can get up, but she has to have a walker. A walker. You know, and then she has to have a walker stick. She gets out once a week. 
Mm. So I have a lot to do around the house. Right. And I don't want to say this, not to be, I think a woman has more work to do. And not, this is why I'm, I don't, I'm not putting on no weight. Right. Oh, <laughs> just, now my twin, uh -huh. you take a look at him. He uh -huh. weighs about 20 pounds, I want 15 pounds more than I am. That right. I weigh the same as I was when I was about 40 years old. Right. 142. I never go when I'm 142, 43, 140. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, marriage life is wonderful. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Right. I had two daughters. That's his mother. And, uh, I worked hard. You had two children all together? That's just two. Two daughters. Two daughters. Yeah. yeah. I worked hard. So, Ain't much more I can say, but right. people would say, well, if I had my life to live over and I'd do something, if I would too. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know. <laughs> As a kid, see, if I had my life, not to live over, if I was born in this country, right? you know what I mean, like him or him, I would have lived a different life as a young fall. Right. Because I would have got more education. Definitely. Definitely. Right. More. So that's, that's the big issue for you. The big uh, issue. Education. Having oh, a lot more education. Uh, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's a shame, you know. What are you going to do? Kids don't want to go sometimes. Right. But me, that was in me. Right. So I, I got along pretty good. I always had a pretty good living. Mm -hmm. I never, never went bankrupt. I, always, I never had an automobile, though. Right. You never had an automobile? No. Huh. I could have had one. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. But as a young kid, young fellow, I was about 17. I got caught with driving with them. I had no license and no license. Uh huh. I had a license, I had no license, but I had my car. You know, years ago when I was a kid, 1926, 26, 20, 26 in here, you could uh, put a car on the road, you didn't have to have no license. Really? Oh, yeah. Sure. So, so I got caught uh, with no place. I'm up in New York, got caught. But I didn't say nothing for it. He just took away my plates, what I had. So you never drove again after that? What's that? You didn't drive after that? No, no. I forget about it. Right. So I never went got a license. Now my brother, the twin, we were, we lived together. We owned the house. My mother, and father. He got a license. So we worked together for about thirty five years. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. And he would and drive. He always had the car, so I just had to do nothing. <laughs> so I just go back for the life. George, what are the most difficult things in your life right now? What's the hardest thing in your life, or the hardest things in your life? Most difficult thing. Most difficult thing. Right now. Right now. It's hard. Just living. Just living? Yeah. How? This is why, this is where education comes in. Uh huh. You see what I mean? So why, why yeah, is living hard? Huh? Why is just living hard? What, what makes it hard for you? Yeah. Well, the cost of living. Cost of living. And the pension of, I get it is like, what's a thousand dollars a month for two people? Right. You know what I mean? It's hard to live. You're, you're living on social security? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's, and that's all. That's all I got. That's all you got. Social security. So that's not easy at all. No, all right. Maybe what I'm trying to say, it's hard to live on because things go up all the time. I'm sure. sure. No, I, like I pay five hundred fifty dollars a month in the same place, you know, and it's hard. And you get your that's your rent. Yeah, mm -hmm. my rent. Yeah. Well, so that doesn't leave you much money for no, for doing no, things with very little. Right. But we scrimmage. We don't go no place. Right. You no, know? but. I got a daughter lives in Arizona, and my daughter lives in Marlin, that's his right. daughter. Right. You know, it's... So the real toughest thing for you right now is financial. Yes, it is. I get by. You get by. Oh, yeah. I scrub around. I do things, but, you know, I mean, oh, yeah. So I, you know, I do things. So I, you know, somebody say this is crazy, but if you want to go, not to look for a handout, Mm -hmm. See, I'm not that type of person. Right. I'll do anything to look for a handout. Right. Yeah. Right. I go. I go pick up pants. Right. You no. Know? Within uh, eight or nine months, I can make eight or nine hundred dollars. That's true. Oh wonderful. yes. That's wonderful. The first year, the can bill went into effect here in this state. Did the you know how many can. cans I picked up from, from the sixth of September to the next April when I go over to school and all. That's mm -hmm. what I get them all. I picked over 8,048 cans. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, That's a lot of cans. See, I have nothing to do, and I, it's good exercise for me. Right. Oh, yeah. And I believe in exercise. So you spend a lot of hours doing that? You spend a lot of time doing that? Uh, pick up cans? Pick up the cans? No, no, no. 
uh, two hours, two hours doing, a day. Do, yeah, doing school is about two hours a day, five days a week. Uh -huh. so, so you go over to the schoolyard and that's where you Yeah, when the kids come out, we can just throw them away. Well, I need you all on the ground, that's it, sure. Uh -huh. My first year, you know, I was the only one over there. I was bringing home two and three hundred cans every year in recess. It was uh -huh. fifteen and seventeen and twenty dollars. Right. Now you have competition? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Never a lot of people could be there. So, so I, uh, I survived. Right. Oh, yeah. Sure, right. my health was good. That's terrific. Oh, Jesus, huh? I, I not, and you're in real good health? Do you have any medical problems that are serious at all? Well, I'll tell you. I've had three operations through my life. Mm -hmm. I had ulcers, stomach. You want to see the cup? See the cup? Yep, I see it. Uh, that was your ulcer operation? Yeah, that was what else did you I had tonsillitis, tons, and I had a what they call. I was, I don't mind Bobby, it's like rest. I had a rotor rooter, you know what that uh -huh. is? Uh -huh. And so I had one of the, you know, my prostate plans. Yeah, prostate operation. Yeah. Yeah. So the doctor did it. He said, George, uh, Dr. Devon, uh -huh. remember, uh -huh. did it. And he said, uh, I was tested for everything. Everything come out neck. He said, we don't have to do no cutting. Right. Our operation. He said, but he says, I got to give you a lot of ruler. Right. So I, right off the bat, I knew what I had an idea. So that's what they do. How many years ago was that? Oh, let me see. Uh, uh, two years this August. Right. Yeah. This Not very long ago. No, this is recently. Yeah. Are you feeling pretty healthy? Now? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I feel like I've done. You know, then the weather sometimes, you know, the weather brings you down. Right. A lot of people say the weather don't have an effect on a person. It does. I'm sure it does. Do you think so now? Oh, very definitely. Yeah. So I do. But right. my wife don't think so now. Right. No. So. George, let me, let me ask you two more questions. One, one is, what do you see yourself doing 10 years from now? Do you have any picture of yourself? Well, you? you know, I'll tell you this. If I, if, if I didn't have a, and then about my wife, oh, you know, she can't do very little. And I have to stay home. You know? Right. And she, like I'm saying, God forbid, I'm only just saying this now. If right. she wasn't around, right. I'd be at work. You'd be at work? Oh, definitely. I'll be putting your richer life over. I can go, I can go to work tomorrow. The place I worked on, I worked on the Boston Fish Beer. Do I have to you in the Boston? What were you doing? Philly cutting? You cutting with fish? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. By cleaning it. Yeah. 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 Uh, like I got through, when I got through, uh, fishing, I didn't want to go fishing no more. Right. Uh, I worked on the land. So, I could go down there and borrow work. So yeah. you would go down there and, and start Oh, I definitely would if I, you know, I can't because I gotta be home with my wife. I gotta do all the things. You know what I mean? So, but you can picture yourself at 93. Uh, what, Jesus? Doing that work? I, I tell you, you know, you know, to me, you know, my health is I never slowed down until I reached about 80. Really? I, I can feel it now. Each year I think I'm getting, you know, I'm going down really. Not, not so that I can't do nothing, uh -huh. you know, but I'm not like uh, at 65 and 70, uh, <laughs> uh, you know. That's just no problem. And there's no problem with me today, but I'm slowing down. Right. My body, you know, can't take. I can get up in the morning and wake up. I feel good. Right. You know, but I go out and, and do a hard day's work. You know, I'm tired. You know, your body gets tired. My breath, I can climb stairs. And my, I don't, I'm not out of breath. Right. And uh, so, I don't know if I'm bragging too much about my health, but you asked me. So That's I terrific. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrific. But my last question is is what you see yourself doing 20 years from now at 103. What what would you be doing? Well, let me see. I, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. I, I think, uh, God forbid, if, uh, you know, enough of that with my health and that. I I was, uh, about three months ago, I had a all valuation, blood test, urine test, everything for cancer, everything. Uh, everything, everything come out negative, uh -huh. and my uh, blood pressure, cardiograms, uh -huh. everything, everything came out of nothing. There was nothing. Well, you look very healthy. Well, I feel good. You look very healthy. You know, I people say, "But gee, you look well." I say, "Well, then you know, you never can tell. You know, you might be here today and gone tomorrow. You know, but I, I don't feel that way. Right? No, sir. I feel that you know." I live a pretty good life. I never drank. Right. I, I drank moderate, you know what I mean? I have whiskey, wine in the house, but I drink it, uh, you know, 
social. You must have a lot of friends, though, who are not as healthy as you are. Oh, yes. Oh, died, oh, you know. Yes. I have a... My, 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 uh, my brother-in-law, that's my wife's sister's husband, he's only 52. Is that... Nice. And he died with a heart attack. Really? No. Geez, I, I couldn't see the guy dying with a heart attack. He was so skinny. Yeah. Maybe he was too thin. I don't know. You know, but he was thin. He wasn't overweight. Mm-hmm. That could never go. He's always... And, uh... It must be sad for you to see friends die. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, God, all the people that I know now, you know, my own brothers and sisters, see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're gone. There's only two. I find it, the brother. So there are 12 of them that have died already. Uh-huh. 12 of them have died. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So, I... I take life, life as it is. Right. You know, so I, I can do things. You know, my wife, she, I can't blame her, you know, because I got, I have a real big responsibility. Right. Because my wife is, you know, she can't do much. Right. And so she's depressed. Mm-hmm. You know, my wife is a healthy person. When she broke her hip, you know, she broke her hip about 12 years ago. She got a nine inch plate in the hip Boy. that keeps her in the house all and then she you know she got depressed before she broke her hip. You know what I mean? She was in the seventies. So she your age? She your age, your age also? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a year and uh, four months old my wife. My wife is eighty one eighty one. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, before she broke her hip, my wife go around any place. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So that must be really hard for her and it must be hard for you. Oh as yeah. Well. See, I see she gets so depressed all the time. Yeah, you know, I, I can imagine. That's uh, and then, that was life. George, we're going to have to stop in a few minutes. I, I really appreciate this yeah. interview. You didn't uh, ask me nothing about my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I don't want to tell you. I don't mind. I don't mind him. <laughs> you know, when I had the prostate gland, I was going to the urinary oh, geez, That should be a five to six times a night. It was horrible. Before you had to surgery. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I said, I have, so I went to Dr. Devon. Told my case and then, so then he said to me, well, he said, I'll tell you, this is what he told me. Now he says, you know, your sex life is not going to be the same. Right. Well, I said, I'm dead, too damn old for that, anyhow. But I said, I don't want to be getting up five and six times a night. You know, go to you sure. wake up the night, the winter time, you're cold, you're going to, you know what I mean? The, the bathroom, the bathroom the name. Oh, it was terrible. So, so he told me, he said, but, he said, you want to never have the, you will never produce no more. I said, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so so I can good. see what he told me is true. Uh-huh. See? Uh, what he right. told me is true. I'm telling you because my grandson is there. Right. And my wife, she's not kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling you, you probably get experience. Ask right. somebody else. Right. What I'm saying is this. My sex life was good. Very, very good. And uh, when I got that roller ruler, yeah. For about a year, but I still got the feeling that right. I'm, you know what I'm like? I'm like a person that has a, a vasectomy. Right. I got the feeling there, it's just the same, but nothing comes out. I don't yeah. ejaculate, so that's that often happens with, with prostate. It does. Yeah. Doctor, you told me that. That's why I said, I don't care. That's why. Right. But I get that feeling, though, just the same. You know, <laughs> where, where, are the, where are the tattoos from? Where do you oh, get the tattoos? Oh, I put the 1920. It's 27. 27? Yeah. Right after you came to the States? Yeah. yeah. About yeah. a year after. Yeah. 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 You could call it 50 cents a piece. Is that right? Yeah. A long time ago. See, this is this is his grandmother's name. Is that right? Yeah. That's Doris Gardner. See, it's all fair. Doris Gardner? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And what's this one? Oh, that, that's, uh, that's American Eagle. That's Were you in the service at that time? No. Oh. No, a lot of people, you know, were you drunk? I said, no, I just wanted to put them on. <laughs> you know, I just went up to Scully Square and that'll put them on. Right, right. Yeah. You know where Scully Square, right? Oh, Scully Square. Where, where was it? Scully Square? Yeah. We get off an A market, there's an odd station there. It was around Hamilton? Yeah, it's sure. Or Government Center? Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Scully Square. The oh, they, so they just took it down. They just took it down. Oh, this is all, yeah. Destroyed it. Yeah. Destroyed it. Nothing. The whole Holland thing. And it's used to go Right, there was, what did you, was it a theater district or was it a... Uh, it was kind of like a, uh, there was a lot of burlesque theater. Oh, like yeah, like combat zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah a little burlesque. more high class. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burlesque, a lot of burlesque. That's funny. Yeah. So, I really appreciate the interview. I really right. appreciate it. Oh, you're Dr. Uh, Bidman? Bidman. Yeah. Very good. Bidman is a little bit gone, but I still... It's terrific. Yeah. Terrific. Okay.